Con Prime, ¿recibes bombillas en un día? Edison estaría orgulloso. Uh -huh. Orgullosísimo. Recibe rápido los esenciales diarios. Prime, lo cambia todo. Hi there, I am Adam Kiebas. And this is another episode of my podcast. We are here in Turkey. It is already October day in Ordo, in the Black Sea region, so uh, um, it is pretty much dire in that sense. However, however, despite this depressing weather, it is a Monday. I hope that you all are doing fine in this pandemic and that we then will uh, finally get through it. However, what we want to uh, continue talking is is uh, emotions, is desire. We are nearing uh, us the end. This is not the end of the discussion. This is not the end. Yeah, um, sorry about that. There's always the same douchebag outside uh, in the morning who who always uh, presses the front like mad. What a f what a moron every day and at that hour. What a stupid idiot. However. Uh, 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 we are at the desire. It is not the end of course. This is a very interesting topic, emotions. Uh, like I said, I don't have always the answers. We are some sort of inner philosophical inquiry. If you want, we we always uh, try to try to gain new in information, uh, try to get new information and so on. So learning is a lifelong process. I am not there where I am. I mean, I'm in my first at ease right now so 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 we'll see about that How, however uh, and uh, it is always you learn always something new uh, this is why i want to emphasize that so so it is never like that you know everything at all or it is never like it shouldn't be that like that you think in your young age and i'm in my third taste and this is for a uh, for someone who considers himself a philosophical a uh, uh, very young it is uh, almost you are still in your teens as a philosopher so this means um, you of course will uh, gain experience will gain knowledge and so on and then your perception will change should change and this would should be an encouragement uh, that we should not um, some sort of uh, take knowledge for granted that we should rather go beyond beyond this perception and so on and uh, and that of course a lifelong determination for knowledge is necessary because uh, again because you don't know much about it and only later in your life you gain more experiences I mean this always depends on your on your circumstances where you are what what uh, you are dealing with and so on the these things always inf influence your judgment they influence your knowledge how you see the world and later on if you want if you if you some sort of weight the weight of your experience um, allows you to step back and and just see uh, things clearly or if you want above get above the things and then you see other processes as well this doesn't mean that if you're um, uh, young or whatever that you would not have any knowledge about the world not at all this is uh, this this would be a stupid assumption and it is uh, sadly enough uh, uh, always an assumption that older people generations um, always think they would know it all i mean this is not the case we uh, no matter whether you are young uh, middle-aged or old you always have to deal with things and you know things the best especially what we talked about previously your your social milieu your circumstances i mean you if you're a migrant you do not have to let white left taste uh, uh morons tell you what to Uh, what is a foreigner what is a migrant you have your own knowledge you have your own experiences what it is to be a foreigner and so on a lot of people don't know that but however and this leads us to this emotional 
connection, what we said, what is a deep bond. We try to uh, define it. I mean, I let the definition deliberately loose because this is a very broad topic: emotions. Um, emotions. Um, I mean, this is very uh, in the, in in the humanity taste. This is a big topic so and we would some sort of lose ourselves in emotions so i let it very open the way i wish some sort of said it is a it is a connection an emotional bond between two people or more people who have the same understanding who have as well as a meaning so emotional uh, connection does not happen with anyone with friends imagine if you're friends then you have a special connection with him a meaning which has of course his story and emotional connection is actually not really desire you may have a desire for friendship but hopefully not sexual desire this is something different if you are a friend with someone you look to this person differently than you'll look to the your wife your girlfriend whatever and friendship and how to separate friendship from uh, uh, how to separate friendship from your um, uh, um, marriage your marry team life this is actually one of the big questions you still would have to answer uh, yeah. Especially in in our days with all these uh, identities, with these gender identities, as well as not only what it means to be a to be homosexual, it is as well as what it means to be heterosexual. So is it all about is it all about your desire? So do we define ourselves through our desire, or do we desire define ourselves through through our emotional? connections what we are i mean i always try to advocate that there is no difference between homosexuality homosexual world views or how homosexual approach in life in roles whatever as well as heterosexual lives i mean this is what i try to explain of course there are a lot of uh different approaches to that and we will not get in into it because uh, talking about about uh, uh, the LGBTQ community, this is a different topic and would take great length. However, uh, we want to talk about uh, continue about uh, social con addition or, or about emotional connections. This is the meaning how you are connected with your world. I mean, again, there there we have to talk about the conditions what really leads to emotional connection and this is of course uh, a connection which has to uh, ha has to have some sort of a same language a same understanding think of many sub cultures like i mean the very famous example is the rap r&b in the in the us which actually started i i talked about it Briefly before this rap uh, video, if you only listen to songs about Tupac Shakur, then you really see and feel where this started from. Where the, this is, of course, the, this this suburban area, this of course this urban area, this poor black uh, black uh, youth, poor black young people who who live in the ghettos. Ghettos is a phenomenon you m mostly find in the America because ghettos and favelas and you in Europe at least in continental Europe well we do not know really what it is like to be in a ghetto because in continental Europe it just did not really occur to that came to that however these ghettos and they all tell uh, th those rap videos they all talk about uh, their be, uh, their experiences what it means to be a black black youth and so on and this then comes with those rap videos and in those rap videos you as well as see the language they, they are using some words new words some phrases new slangs and this is where this all develops and this is what you need to have for an emotional connection as well if you want so uh, an understanding understanding about the same same uh, troubles about the same issues what you have in the hoods uh, where being a marginalized group and so on so and this this experience is typically 
Kelly Black, if you want. This is the Kelly place in 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 the U.S. in this ghettos. This is the reason why. I mean, if you try to copy it, what it what happened in continental Europe, the the rap scene pretty much tried to copy those elements from the uh, from the Americas they tried to bring in those elements but yet this mm, really did not work out well be, because in in Austria for example in Austria for example of course there are some areas there are some areas which are worse but but it is not like it is in the US and then if you talk about being uh, tough and so being black and so then this is different it is different in that sense this does not mean that in that in continental europe there is no marginalization marginalization no racism not at all i think still think that some of the areas in continental europe are even worse than the u.s the only reason we don't know about it is because the media in continental europe does not report about it uh, e.g. Austria. However, but it is again. I mean, this is uh, if you want these web videos. They are from a different socio socio economic sphere. And I say this despite the fact I some sort of you use TikTok videos. I make TikTok videos with those lyrics, but I try to avoid uh, or in that sense uh, the, this rhythm. But I would not. Uh, this is indeed something different different in that sense it does not talk about the ghettoization about social problems and so on different in that sense it is actually not really rap however or hip-hop if you want hip-hop is something you really have to be aware of that this is some sort of a social social thing from the u.s However, uh, maybe it, it helps us to define a connection, what really is mean connection, what we can some sort of bring in connection. And there again, I have a um, Google uh, definition which everyone can find on, on Google Dictionary. And this is a connection is a relationship in which a person or a thing is linked or associated with something else, emotional connection would there be some so, sort of strong feeling of attachment a relationship you have a history this doesn't mean that you some sort of um, know this person let's say uh, we talked about Tupac Shakur uh, Shakur, um, Shakur uh, uh, this doesn't mean that you have to personally personally know him when he talks about uh, I mean all all these lives of a fuck life or whatever you don't have to personally know him but then if you are at a, at someone else uh, uh, if you are a black black youth then you understand this despite the, you understand this you have a history you have a tradition you have a history this is important as as a black youth to be marginalized as being seen as a black uh, boy uh, to to be in treat it that way and then you can associate with this this is the same in europe as well i mean in europe again this is different a little bit now while it is significantly different because um if you are a migrant in europe mostly you are white i mean if you are turkish if you are from the balkans if you are from the east mostly you are white just simply said you are you are white you are you would be miss taken as white if you for example would be in the u.s whatever yet again you are marginalized marginalized on the on the basis of culture marginalized on the basis of of, of pressure this this and so on i mean uh, a great example is 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 anti-semitism in europe which goes way back uh, in the middle ages and there you cannot see pretty much uh, a significant difference in appearance between uh, uh, Caucasians and Jewish people. However, in 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 continental uh, Europe's history, I mean, as well as in world history, there was always this emphasis, this uh, uh, anti-Semitic emphasis, emphasis that there would be a difference, that there would be a genetic 
difference between you Jews and 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 Christians later in the in the Third Reich between Aryans this this pure race which is then undermined by those would be undermined by those foreigners and so on. and of course there has to be a strong uh, connection and this strong feeling derives from uh, derives from one. Um, circumstances as well as mood but mood is something i would say uh, does not last long enough i mean mood you could be uh, some sort of elated then tomorrow you are depressed and then i don't know you you feel a connection to other people but mood it goes beyond mood is uh, it has something which has his his theory which reflects on your own kind and so on again i mean uh, this is an uh, uh, in emotional terms mm, uh, a big issue is empathy i mean empathy everyone talks about it empathy well, what is it uh, i mean we will not go into the detail here but empathy or with whom you feel empathy is very interesting i mean if you if you some sort of grew up in 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 poor circumstances if you want or if you had to struggle whatever then you will probably feel empathy to other people who go through the same and i tried to explain this the last time this is what max shaler actually made very popular he's uh, uh, an unknown uh, social uh, an unknown philosophic uh, philosopher an austrian philosopher was austrian bavarian philosopher who wrote about empathy who wrote about mat uh, materialistic ethics and uh, very interesting to, to read uh, i don't know whether you can get him in in english however i mean all those old philosophers they all spoke german jewish they were he was jewish as well so the the jewish intellectuals accomplished a great deal uh, in those old days thereafter everything went down however and he talked about uh, i mean that this in a way you see yourself in this other other person you pity yourself with this other person i mean we talked about madman uh, or no we talked about uh, uh, um, uh breaking bad i mean this is something of course you have to be some sort of emotional mature to to understand what this is what this goes through and madman some sort of speaks to uh if you want an old older and, and i would say more bro more mature audience this is way more different than you have uh, for example riverdale those this tv show riverdale or this tv show i don't know vampire diary maybe this is too old vampire diary not uh, uh many People know this. I mean, I I watched this uh, a couple of years ago, the first season, uh, and there you see. I mean, this is something again. This reoccurring theme of of this high school where you some sort of meet new friends. You are the new girl. I mean, this is everywhere. Where ev almost in every every teeny movie you find this theme and this speaks to an other audience. And then in, in Breaking Bad, I mean. Uh, breaking bad uh, there is this man i mean who struggles for life and this again we talked about some sort of reflects the struggle of man if you want how they adjust in this world how they had high ambitions because we um, because my generations pretty much took over uh, the the old world with their old old uh, values or <laughs> and with the old considerations though back in the days in the 70s 80s where baby boomers some sort of came into age things were different i mean everyone uh, talked about the new dawn and so on i mean this was uh, in in continental europe we talked about the, was the welfare state everything was working well and then uh, all break down um, or slowly and gradually it all was some sort of erupted and then more and more you some sort of inherited uh, a mess if you want and and then this led to delusions and so on and this speaks to people there you can some sort of feel uh, empathy in that sense but it is if if you consider max shaler uh, a wrong kind of empathy because you you see yourself in it i mean you you have actually self 
pity in that sense. I mean, if you see someone, a man, for example, this is very common, who is, uh, whose wife cheats on him, a man whose wife cheats on him and who is, who is working hard and so on. I mean, this is something which has something very captivating for you because it, this is un, uh, because this is devastating and, and it plays in into this fear as well. The same is with women. A uh, uh, woman who's been uh, oppressed, who's been robbed of uh, of her freedom, and so, and so on, uh, has uh, of course a lot of empathy or gains a lot of empathy with other women, especially being marginalized, especially this fear that you never accomplish. I mean, this is indeed a different world. You have to see yourself selves. I mean, as a woman, uh, it is rather the barriers in your head this is what you have as a migrant this is what you have as a as as a black teenager a teenager and as well as a woman is it you have some barriers in your mind where you say yeah i can do this or i cannot do this i'm not allowed to do this especially there are social conventions which prevent me to do this i cannot walk freely there and where and so on these are mental barriers in your head and this play a significant role how you act in public how you behave and so on and what opportunities you get and see this is very important this is not only about the opportunities you get it is as well as opportunities you see and what we talked about was um especially those male jobs who, who some sort of ha have a mystic aura surrounded uh, or are surrounded by a mystic aura that you have to have some sort of a male brain in order to be um, a, a great mechanic in order to be a, a great technician and so on i mean we don't have enough data to prove that however but it is always being assumed and that of course of course with biological uh, just justifications that man would uh, uh, think differently as women which well partially true How, however but it is some sort of uh, pretty significant this leads to mental barriers barriers which then later some sort of leads to connections as well i mean what what is a barrier either a barrier can either break you or you can some sort of find the courage to overcome it or or just hatred to to where you just want to smash it and, and so on so uh, barriers are indeed to one of those defining moments and the barriers as well as uh, uh, are very important in a way for your emotional connection to, to whom you uh, bestow affection to whom, to whom you bestow empathy as well as to whom you hate and, and so on i mean if uh, one of the most hated uh, social group in our age is is white male middle class i mean everyone talks about it i mean this white male middle class would do, which would some some way dominate the entire society would uh, would have a impact a negative impact because of the toxic um, uh, toxic mass uh, colonity this is all the white middle the white male middle class and so on this is what you see in or here in in many leftist um, narrations and so on well i disagree it is not only the white white uh, white uh, middle class uh, it is as well or oh, a toxic mass colonity is not only confined to the left uh, to the right it is as well as in in the left and i think even more so in the left uh, toxic mass colonity is indeed a big issue in the left I, I, can, I can only speak from my own experiences in the universities. The, this is pretty much uh, the toxic mass currently is very uh, 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 male feminism for that matter is permeated with toxic mass community this is pretty much heavy there because this hatred this uh, the society or just to cut to the chase I mean I don't want to spend too much on this because we are some sort of talking about this over and over again but in order to cut to the chase i mean in society our society is still built of 
competition. This means as a, as a man, as, as a woman, you compete with each other, you in this over sexual asset sexualized society this is still you compare yourself to others with each other this is what you see on social media this is what you see on instagram whatever you have it you always compare your accomplishments to others and it is even made that way society if you apply for a job then you are compared with others if you go to school you you get grades in comparison to others and so on you are verified evaluated in comparison to others so you cannot escape this system of comparison you cannot escape this system because you need this system as well it is not that this system exists for himself i mean you every day you um, you contribute to this system as well as you need it in order to have a self-esteem and uh, and know your place in society however and you cannot stop this i mean no matter whether you are left and right you always compare yourself with others and and this comparison this competition this is of course aggressive i mean sport sport is some some sort of, if you want a non violent aggression only look at it look at football in the in the u s i mean in continental europe we play soccer but in the u s everyone plays football there there this is aggression this is some sort of non violent aggression where you where two teams stand on the field and if you want this some sort of emulates a battle field and in, and instead of swords instead of maquetas and guns they go, go at each other for a ball to 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 shoot a b- b- ball against uh, a hole or a, or whatever this is about competition we made out of competition and no matter whether you are male feminist or um, or what you cannot exclude yourself from this competition and and if you do and if you try to do and if you say art toxic must Clint is bad and we have to be all nice and so well this then this leads to one thing and this is what I witnessed to passive aggressiveness where you were a weak man in that sense uh, some sort of uh, um, passive aggressively attack uh, other man and so on so this is a big issue within the left because in the left is you can have some sort of live for you out your manliness this aggression where you which society still approves i mean we talked about this no matter whether there is a feminist equality movement still those systems of all those systems of baby boomers how a man should be that a man should take care of his woman and that a man should be able to provide for his woman this is still in the still in the society i mean i i said this over and over again and i will still will say this over and over again you, you cannot escape these value systems and if you do then you will not be considered as a true man it can be happen i mean that you were are even considered as homosexual or, or whatever if you do not follow these guidelines which society has defined manliness and which they left still some sort of uh, practices as well you can't escape it however and t- to come back we always sway from this topic and of c- course i always repeat myself if you want but it is so important to all always reiterate very important knowledges we have and to either bring them back to 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 bring them to fruition and always newly connect i mean i always want to uh, find um, a connection if you want to society to real life i mean this is what philosophy should be i mean what if you read uh heidegger and, and all these great philosophers i mean despite the fact heidegger himself was very controversial in his life and so on but as well as marx and so on uh, this is a always about real life i mean we should always think about real life and th- this is what this is all about i mean you cannot just dream about your circumstances and so on however and if we then come back to emotional connection yeah these connections they mean something for you 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 have empathy this is what we will talk about as well as in pop poly terms i mean this is what you have have to then understand i mean if there's an election and this is always i mean if if there's an election and if someone needs to uh, uh, gain um, appeal within a certain electoral community with sp- with special de- uh, demo 
graphic uh, uh, attributes if you or just said simply i mean if you want to uh, gain more support among among uh, black uh, youths and if you are the more crowd white the more crowd from a, from a suburban area then you will probably struggle to get the approval but however then but then you have an assistant whatever the second in 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 chain or in or someone in the back row a back bencher who then goes to these youths and tell them that he is one of them that he understands them and that they can trust them this is how political the uh, uh, persuasion works so you, you 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 go to these people and say yeah i'm i'm one of you and or i know your struggle and i will some sort of make the best of it i mean this is how it works it's always uh, have it worked that's the reason all those Political parties have so many members, have so uh, have so much support, or or gain so much support. Or in Europe, is the same. I mean, those those people uh, they do not even have migrant friends, and yet uh, in every election, pardon me, uh, before every election, they come up with all those uh, supporters who then go to those communities who were before then marginalized. I mean, this is who were before. Uh, who are marginalized whatever and then they should vote for this own person for this person who doesn't really care about them but just just but just needs their votes and so on so this is very vital in for example in austria the, the, the elite, this elite i mean in austria there is indeed some uh, dire issues some secret things which is happening behind closed door which i think are indeed Indeed, this turbing uh, and given that uh, that the rule of law doesn't really work there, uh, mm, it will probably never be solved. However, but this is again some sort of emotional connection you have. I mean, uh, you have with this people, people you are represent. That is, if you assume that he or she is one of you, he or she un understands you, and then she, uh, this representative, will then do something for you, will accomplish something for you, will make your life better, whatever it is. I mean, this is another thing we have to talk about it as well uh, uh, on an on on a different time but as well as you just don't know what you are or you just feel in a way some sort of marginalized or, and some sort of feel uh, uh, put down you do you you don't feel some sort of being being taken granted as well i mean this this is again about manliness and about thing and so on so this is not something which is confined to 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 some special group and so on. And so on. However, uh, I mean, what I mean here is this emotional connection just means that that there is a connection and there has to be a, a connection and understanding. This is uh, this is about about how you how you behave yourself or the, this is how you speak with each other. I mean, with, with the rap videos and so on, as well as the middle class, despite the fact that the middle class is hated and so on of course there are some things which is disturbing for them i mean imagine you have very highly educated uh, 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 parents your parents they were great great school uh, uh, accomplished uh, uh, university degrees whatever and you, you but you in the in the family you are the slug you did not accomplish anything your parents they have all university degrees degrees and you dropped out of high school and so on so so uh, there are of course different if you want accomplishment uh, different narration ships you have even in the middle class even the the even why they are so much hated how um, and and one is to 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 fail um, uh, this is what you have if you if you have uh, for someone who grew up uh, in a working class family and if this person looks into a middle class family it seems like yeah they have it all i mean you can do whatever you want you can accomplish whatever you want at least it seems that we have have very edu educated uh, parents i mean we, we people from the 
working class have some sort of an ideal uh, ideal image uh, about parents who are very educated parents who can help you parents who can ask uh, if you have parents whom you can ask I mean, about i don't know about math issues whom you can ask about issues you have in school for example and who, who can help you with your with your exams uh, with your exam preparation who can help you with i don't know with your, uh, with your English vocabularies with your uh, and so on and so on. English or French vocabularies. I mean, if you have edu- educated people, we in the working class always assume ah, this must be great and so on, ah, so desirable. Um, of, of 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 course, we don't know what it means. I mean, having having parents over demanding, having parents who always twenty four seven want the best of you that you are should accomplish great and so on and so on. So there is of course a fear fear to fail in this and there is very a good example in Japan. In in Japan the suicide rate is very high because this is a very demanding society. You really have to give it all and and you are some sort of put under under a lot of strain to 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 uh, to accomplish something and then if you fail then you Everything breaks down. Everything comes down, and so on, and so on. And this, indeed, some sort of uh, has an impact with whom you sympathize, sympathize with, with whom, uh, with, 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 for whom you share affection with, the connection, the bond you have. I mean, with even in the middle class, then you feel some sort of affectionate for, or probably feel affectionate for people who failed, I mean, who, who, who did not accomplish something, or you listen to stories, I mean, like, like, I don't know, Steve Jobs, or, or, or uh, and so on, who dropped out of, out of, uh, college but yet still accomplished something yet still the, uh, made, uh, were, were great visionaries, and so on. So, so these these maybe be your stories as well. I mean, you, you see this some sort of in 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 uh, comics as well because those comics, this is those stuff we we grew up with as a child. I mean, and if you see all these constellations, I mean, we talked a little bit in the uh, a little bit of, about the Oedip, Oedipus constellations in those comics in those uh, child narrations which still to this very day are very c- c- common i mean look at spider-man look at look at look at uh batman i mean this is uh, batman he, he's this wealthy child and and then he l- loses it all some sort of goes to uh, a journey to find him self and then some sort of he he's um, uh, is uh, is uh, is uh, is a two two Faced this uh, uh, in 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 real life, this society man. He seems boring, and so he seems boring, and seems to have adjusted to the social convention, to social etiquette. But uh, then behind the mask, he some sort of saves people, and so on. So this still plays in it. As well as Spider Man, this with uh, with uh, Peter Parker who gets. Corrupted by his power and all these male male figures in his life, they they some sort of disappear. And then there's this girl. There's always this girl. girl. So in every every uh, or most of those comic characters, Batman, Spider-Man, and so and so, they pretty much work the same. They have pretty much the same archetypes. If you want some sort, of, there's one guy who is the underdog. This is how it all works. And then there's a girl who does not really. Uh, uh, there's a girl who does not really some notice him. The Superman, for example, is this. I mean, if um, and there she she doesn't notice him, but but then he some sort of makes up for it and so on, and then comes on, uh, and he's secretly the hero. I mean, this is a, again placed in the Oedip, Oedipus constellation. This this dominance uh, or this competition what you have with your father especially as a boy those comics are mostly made for young boys or girls you won't find much to find there or you won't find much material there but those comics they are mostly uh, made for boys in that sense so this is this you some sort of compete with a big foe um, with a foe whom, whom, who, who seems beyond you who seems very strong very 
very dominant and you don't seem to be able to compete with him this is again the father role so this is your all too dominant father who can accomplish everything you cannot so you have to fight for the affection of your mother this is this girl but this girl does not really uh, does not really notice you 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 can't draw her attention so you have to uh, play secretive so in in batman you some sort of uh, are this superhero at night in in Superman? You have some sort of an alter ego, this Superman, whereas Clark Candice, you are this guy, if you want. Uh, and uh, oh, uh, Clark Candice, is your alter ego. Uh, this this guys where you have where you have some sort of compete with. This is your normal life where you have to uh, some sort of work in society, work in your environment, and of course play along if you want. If you can't compete with someone if you're not strong enough to compete with someone then you are pretend to be like him pretend to be normal but secretly you some sort of dream of being a hero and so so this you have a lot of Oedipus constellations here and uh, as well as this place in your em emotional emotional uh, connections as well um, I mean how you uh, how how you some sort of see other people how you evaluate evil for example what is evil is evil everyone who is all dominant who has a lot of power this one might assume i mean if you watch all those comics there's always one one evil genius who has it all who has power who has wealth and who is an oppressive and so on and so on who is corrupt uh, this is what you pretty much is almost in all comics you find this person who is mostly wealthy so this again plays in this marxist uh, narration but as well as in your in your uh, childhood uh, relation because your father had had it all he had money he was working you know the, so, so you are dependent on his money this is what you see it at spider-man you you depend on his money on his c c c company and so on and so on so these things then have emotional connection what do, what you desire i mean what you desire uh, uh, i think in my generation this was this underdog theme this was pretty much um, the, the or is the dominant theme whatsoever this is what you have in lord of the rings i mean despite the fact lord of the rings was written uh, before the war uh, or during the great wars so, 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 despite the fact about but this underdog theme, this is the dominant theme whatsoever in, 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 in literature, in movies, whatever. And there's always this same angle, this same angle. One underdog has an over dominant male, um, uh, an over dominant uh, male figure he is the evil guy whatever and then there's one girl she does not really take notice of him this is pretty much male fantasy explained with uh oedipus complex and then of course with this what what it means to fail i mean the, this is then what you fear this is male fear this is what you when you well and with whom you have comp passion with whom you feel in a way in a way affection with i mean if you are the underdog if you perceive that you are underdog then you would immediately say yeah with other underdogs with other people who are weak this is what you have in the comics as well this spider-man batman they apparently uh, uh, protect the weak against against other people i mean then you have to ask yourself well, why do you have to have to wear uh, cape and so on and so on however uh however are there not other forms this is what you see in batman as well i mean uh, with law and, uh, and and order i mean are there not other ways to fight evil however i mean this was we will continue talking about this uh the next time uh this was adam kebos from ordu uh, here in Turkey, we are still in the pandemic. I hope that you all are doing fine, and that now before winter, that you that you take care of yourself. Bye.
Would you rather have wireless on the most reliable network nationwide or unlimited with 5G for $30 a month per line? You don't have to choose with Xfinity Mobile. Wireless so good it keeps one upping itself. Most reliable based on Roots Metric US report. Results vary, not an endorsement. $30 per month per line when you get four lines. 